Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an Ulta haul for you. I know it's been a while since I filmed a haul. It's been about three to four months and that's a really, really long time for me. So I'm going to do a haul for you today. So I don't want to make this intro too long. So I'm just going to get right into the video. I did pick up a few things in store and I also placed an online order. I'm first going to show you the things that I bought in store. I did check out their clearance section in store. After the holidays, they have a really, really, really good clearance section. I picked up this Soap and Glory lip gloss set. I've been eyeing this for a while. They did have this set at Target, but I saw it at Ulta for only like $6. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So it comes with four lip glosses. It's in the shape of a candy. It's so cute. Looks like that. And they're all nudes. They're all deluxe sizes. They're all small lip glosses. They're not full sizes. But honestly, I never go through a full tube of lip gloss. So these are like the perfect size for me. And this would be perfect to just throw in my purse or something. But I've never tried Soap and Glory stuff before. I have tried their bath products and I do really, really like them. So I really wanted to try a lip product from them. I've never tried anything from them, so let me know if y'all like any of their products. So next I picked up another clearance item. This is the Sleek Makeup Liquid Lipstick Set. Again, these are the small sizes. They're so, so pretty. Something got on the packaging, so it looks a little dirty. But I paid only 5 bucks for this, so it was $4.97. This is what the set looks like. It comes with a nice nude color a deep wine color, a nice berry shade, and a bright red. Can't get it out. Here are the swatches. Here we have Daydreamer. Here we have Velvet Supper. Here we have Real Hub Red. And right here we have Regal. So I think it has a nice variety of shades with this liquid lipstick set so I'm excited to try these out and they do dry down to a matte finish which I really like so I'm excited to try these out All right next I picked up another clearance item and it comes in this nice tin packaging super cute and these are the Ulta Beauty lip liner set these are again from the holiday collection I only paid six dollars for this set and they're all full-size lip liners which I was so happy I found this six dollars and they're all full-size lip liners I do believe that these individually they do sell them in the Ulta section and I don't know I think there might be like six to nine dollars each so for this whole entire set for like six bucks, I thought that was a really, really good deal. I've been loving Ulta Beauty products lately. I've tried their concealer and it's amazing. I've also tried their uh, lip oil, which is also amazing. And I've just tried a few things from that brand and I really, really like it. So when I saw these lip liners, I definitely had to get them. It comes with three nude shades, one more rosy shade, and a darker shade. So I am going to swatch one. I want to swatch... The shade Spice because this is like right up my alley. Ooh, this is so pretty. I know this is going to go with a bunch of colors. There's a swatch of Spice right there and they're really, really nice and creamy. So, All right, next I picked up another clearance item. I was so happy to see this. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Sculpting Sponge. This was on clearance because it's limited edition packaging. So this was like packaging for the holidays. It had a string right here so it looked like a little ornament. Uh, but I mean the sponge inside is a limited edition so they do still sell the sponge regular price and their regular packaging but this was just on clearance because it was holiday packaging so I paid two dollars for this I was so happy because I do love the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge which is the orange one I really really love that sponge but I haven't tried any other sponge from them I know they have a few to choose from so when I saw this on clearance I thought it was a perfect timing to try out a different sponge from Real Techniques it's just a necessity you can't ever have too many sponges next I picked up this Catrice liquid camouflage concealer this is in the shade 020 light beige I heard Kathleen Lights and Tati talk about this concealer and they love this concealer so I've been wanting to try out a new concealer from the drugstore side so I saw this one and I remember Tati and Kathleen talking about this so I decided to go ahead and 
give it a try. I was a little bit disappointed because they didn't have a lot of shades to choose from. They were all super, super light. I do believe that this one is the darkest shade that it comes in. They only had three to choose from at my store, and this was the darkest one, and it's still super, super light. So I was a little bit disappointed about that, but I decided to still get it anyways because it would be perfect to lighten up any concealer. I do have a few concealers that are a little bit too dark for me, so if I mix this in with those concealers, it'll be perfect to lighten it up. And it feels like a really, really nice concealer. I did just watch this when I got home, and it felt really, really nice. It's just a little too light. Here is a swatch. Y'all can see that is super, super light. And when I go to blend it, it just feels so nice, and the coverage is so good. Ugh, I just wish that this was a little bit darker, and, but I am still going to try it out and see how I like it with another concealer. Next, I got the 9A Always Golden Morphe eyeshadow palette. Here is what the box looks like, and here is what the packaging looks like. It's a really nice size eyeshadow palette. I feel like this would be perfect to travel with. When you open it up, it has a really, really nice big mirror and nine eyeshadows. This is like the perfect neutral eyeshadow palette. I feel like this is perfect to travel with because it has all the shades you could possibly need to create a more natural look and a more dramatic look with the black shade. So this is just the perfect neutral eyeshadow palette. It was only $12. I think I had a $3.50 off a $10 coupon. You can use your Ulta coupons towards Morphe, which I think is amazing. So I did have a $3.50 off a of $10, so I only paid like around 9 bucks for this eyeshadow palette, which I thought was an awesome, awesome deal because usually Morphe eyeshadow palettes aren't that cheap. So I am going to swatch some shades for you. Let's swatch Awake. Ooh, and they feel really nice. They just feel like nice Morphe eyeshadows. Here are some swatches of some of the eyeshadows in this palette. They're super, super nice and pigmented. They're really, really great quality eyeshadows. I really, really love Morphe. So I'm really, really excited to try this out and see what looks I can create with this eyeshadow palette. I know it only comes with nine eyeshadows, but I feel like you can do several looks with this, so I'm really, really excited about this. Next, I picked up this Too Faced Melted Latex Lip Gloss in Hopeless Romantic. This is just the perfect nude lip gloss. Y'all, I saw these on sale for only 11 bucks, which I thought was a really, really good deal because these are usually $20, $21 around there. So $11 for this lip gloss. I thought it was a really good deal and I decided to go ahead and get it to try out because I haven't tried anything from the Melted Latex line. This is what the tube looks like. It looks exactly like the Melted Matte Lipsticks. This is just the perfect nude shade. So I was really, really happy to see that this was on sale. I did see that it was also on sale online. I don't know if it's still on sale. I'll definitely check for you. But... um. Yeah, it was only $11, and I thought this was perfect timing to try out a new lip gloss. There is a swatch right there of Hopeless Romantic. It's just the perfect peachy nude lip gloss. I can't wait to try this. Next, I picked up the Urban Decay Ultimate Pear 1993 Lipstick and Lip Liner Set. It comes with two full-sized products for only $11. I paid $11 for this. I cannot believe I got this. This was the last one, and the box was really beat up so I was like I'm pretty sure there's a product missing in there or someone swatched it no they were perfect perfect condition I was really really happy to see this and it, this was in the front of the store too so I was like why is this still here someone would have gotten it by now but I thought this was an amazing deal two full-size Urban Decay products for only $11 I thought that was just a steal so here is what the lipstick tube looks like it's really really nice packaging it feels really really nice and here is the lipstick it's the perfect brownie nude shade definitely reminds me of the 90s hence the name 1993 uh, but something about a nude tube lipstick just does something to me this is so satisfying to look at just look at it it's so perfect I don't even want to swatch it but I'm still gonna swatch it okay I'm still gonna swatch it for y'all this is the perfect brownie nude shade that's it right there. So pretty. It would be perfect paired with that Ulta lip liner. And here is the lip liner. Again, this is full size. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade at 1993. This is just the perfect lip liner. I feel like it's going to go along with 
a lot of lip colors. It looks very, very similar to the Ulta Beauty one. Maybe that one's a dupe. This one's a little bit more of a red tone lip liner, and this one's more brown. So I've been wanting to try out a new bronzer. I'm obsessed with my Rimmel one. That's the one I've been using right now. And I've been wanting to try out something different. So I picked up the Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze Bronzer. This is huge. It's really, really big. And this is the perfect tone bronzer. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. It's just perfect. And I cannot wait to try this. If here is a swatch right there. You can't really see because it looks very similar to my skin tone. So I cannot wait to try this. Definitely thinking about doing a first impressions video. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. I would be featuring some of these products that I'm showing you on here in that video. So leave me a comment down below if you would like to see a first impressions. Okay, so I decided to splurge on something that I've been wanting for a while now. And it's the Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. This is what it looks like. I know my lighting is probably going to go crazy. Yeah, it is. Okay, it's just beautiful. I remember seeing this on Instagram and I just fell in love. I'm like, I need that in my life. It took me a while to finally get it, but I had a 20% off coupon, so it worked towards prestige products. So I thought this was perfect timing to go ahead and buy this palette. So I did swatch it in store and the shades just felt so nice and buttery and it was so pigmented. So I'm excited to try this. And here is the palette. It's very, very reflective so beautiful the packaging on this it feels very very nice and luxurious i cannot wait to try this i did play around with it in store i was swatching it on my hand and all that and the shades felt amazing so here is the inside of the palette so it comes with four bronzing and contouring shades and two highlighting shades they're all matte i believe yeah they're all matte it comes with a nice sized mirror too so I cannot wait to try this. Next, I got the Makeup Revolution Liquid Highlighters. These, oh my goodness, you guys. I haven't tried them on my face yet, so I don't know how they'll perform on my face. But I've swatched them, and they're absolutely breathtaking. They're so beautiful. So I only bought one first, and then I had to go back in store and purchase two more. They had a ton to choose from, but I purchased only three. The first one I got is Champagne, which is more of a light, pearly shade. And then I got the shade Luster Gold, which is more of a golden toned highlighter. And then I got Bronze Gold, which is more on the bronzy side. So I am going to swatch these for you. They come in a glass bottle, and they do have the droppers, just like the Cover FX ones. I don't own any of the Cover FX ones, so I don't know if they're going to be very similar to these. But y'all, I swatched these like three times already, and I... I'm just so blown away by these. All right, y'all, I don't think y'all are ready for these. Here are the swatches. Look at how beautiful. They're so blinding, so stunning. Here is Champagne, here is Luster Gold, and here is Bronze Gold. So they look very, very similar to each other on camera, but in person, they look completely different to me. I cannot wait, cannot wait to try these out. So now let's go into the products that I purchased online. So I did place an online order a few days ago and it just got to me. So I'm really, really excited to show you the products that I got. I decided to go ahead and place an online order because a bunch of the products that are online aren't in store yet and I'm very, very impatient. So I just decided to go ahead and place an online order. So the reason why I placed this order were for these products that I'm about to show you. I'm really, really excited about them. They are the new Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palettes. These are the Reloaded Iconic eyeshadow palettes, and this one is in Fever. This is the perfect warm-toned eyeshadow palette. I have a feeling that this is supposed to be a dupe for the Naked Heat palette. I'm hoping it is. I don't own that one, but it looks very, very similar to it. And this one is in Neutrals too. I feel like this one is supposed to be a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This is beautiful. This actually reminds me of Valentine's Day, so I might do a Valentine's Day tutorial using this. Or maybe I'll just use them in a first impressions video or something. So let me know if you would like to see a first impressions video on these eyeshadow palettes. I saw them online and I knew I had to get them. They were only $7. What? 
$7 for these eyeshadow palettes and you get a bunch of shades in them. So I cannot wait to try these. I feel like they're going to be amazing. They look really, really, really nice. Okay, so another product that I'm really, really excited to show you and I think it's supposed to be a dupe for a very popular high-end concealer. I'm not going to get too much into that because I do want to do a comparison video. But this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm not going to tell you what concealer it might be a dupe for, which y'all probably will know just by looking at it. I'm really, really excited about this. And stay tuned for a comparison video. Next, I got the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. This is supposed to be waterproof. I feel like it's supposed to be similar to the Wonder Brow. I am planning on doing a comparison video to the Wonder Brow, so stay tuned for that. This is what the tube looks like. I really, really love this packaging. It's very nice. And I cannot wait to try this. I'm really glad that something from the drugstore came out with something like this. Like I said, I want to do a comparison to the Wonder Brow. So I cannot wait to see how this performs on the brows and how long it lasts. It says on the packaging that it lasts up to two days. So we'll be putting that to the test and see how this works. But I cannot wait to try this. Next, I got the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. This is one of the newer shades. This is in the shade Molten Rose Gold. So I was really excited to hear that they were coming out with more shades because I do own Molten Gold, and that's one of my all-time favorite highlighters. If you haven't gotten your hands on that highlighter, you have to. It's the perfect golden highlighter. It's very similar to Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. It's a dupe, I would say, but y'all, these are amazing. So here is a close-up of Molten Rose Gold. So I know a lot of rose gold highlighters are a little bit too pink. I'm not a big fan of pink highlighters, but I saw this one and I knew that this was going to be perfect. They feel amazing. Oh yeah, look at that. I barely even touched it. There's a swatch of it right there. I really really love this formula molten gold I think will still be my favorite above this one because that's just the perfect highlighter I'm actually wearing it right now if you can't see it but I love that highlighter so Maybelline I still think y'all should come out with more shades just saying I think we've come to the last of it so this is the last product that I have to show you today this is the physicians formula butter highlighter this is in the shade champagne Look at how beautiful that highlighter is. I got the more golden-y one. I've actually never tried anything from the Butter Collection from Physicians Formula. I've heard really, really amazing things of the Butter Bronzer. So I really, really want to get my hands on that. But I saw this and I just knew I had to get it. So the packaging here says that it's a cream to powder highlighter. I'm very interested to see how this is going to feel. I feel like it's going to be similar to the ColourPop highlighters. Not to the pressed powder ones, but the other ones. The first highlighters that they ever came out with. So they were in a similar packaging to this, actually. So here is a close-up of the highlighter. It's so beautiful. It's just the perfect golden highlighter. I cannot wait to dip my finger into this because I'm very interested on seeing how this is going to feel. What? Whoa. So this doesn't feel exactly like the ColourPop highlighters, but they feel very similar. These are a lot more buttery. It feels like you're, it's melting on your finger as soon as you touch it. Here is a swatch of the highlighter. Look at how beautiful. Oh wow, and it actually smells really, really good. It smells like pina coladas. Oh, it smells so, so good. It's very, very different. I don't think I've tried a cream to powder highlighter before. At least I don't think. I know the ColourPop ones are kind of a little bit creamy, but they're not as creamy as this. If I love this, I'm definitely going to go pick up the other two shades. So let me know if you've tried anything from the Butter Collection from Physicians Formula. I really want to pick up the bronzer. Let me know if you've tried it out and if you like it because I really, really want to get it. So that is it. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know if you watched to the very end of this video. I don't know. I just am curious to know. It blows my mind that anyone ever wants to watch me talk for this long. So leave me a comment down below if you did. Stay till the very end. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos from me. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'll have all that listed down below so you can go follow me on there. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.